Hi, everybody. Welcome to Winnipeg, Manitoba. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm Jay Sabalski. Minnesota's coming into this one on the second leg of a back-to-back -back here tonight, Ray. Yeah, and to couple that, you're on the road where you're unfamiliar, you've got travel. There is a challenge to this, but the focus of the team has to be about playing a good first period. Worry about the rest of the game later. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Jets start with possession as we are now underway. Works it across to Morrissey. Picked off in the open ice. Looks to set up at the point now. Slides the puck near the front of the net. And that one stopped. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Knocked away. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Right in front with the shot. Misses. He doesn't expect this puck here, James. And as a result, he just whips the shot wide. Puck picked up by Little. And that's taken by the defense. Minnesota's playing it through center. They've got numbers. Here he is with the backhander. Big save. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Passes over to Line A. Winnipeg's got it across the line. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Moves the puck. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. He looks like he's got a step and then the puck just trickles off his stick. Now he's got to hunt it back down. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Quick feed to Connor. Connor's going to play it to the corner. Quick feed down low. And that one's broken up. Stahl's carrying it ahead. Stahl's going to play it against the half wall. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. The Wild have it now. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Ehlers gains the zone. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Here they are on the attack. Quick pass to Pionk. Let's the wrister fly. And that goes off a player in front. Slides the puck over. Puts it off the post. And the puck's booted away. Has some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. Pionk's got it on the offensive end. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. And the officials stop the play as the puck hits off the ice. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Sends it in deep. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Feeds the puck over to Foligno. Winnipeg's got the puck. And that's intercepted. And that one's stolen at center ice. Dumps it in. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Kunin's got it along the wing. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Slides the puck across to Hunt. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Takes the feed. Handles the pass up to the middle of the ice. What a steal in his own end. And now it's over to Fiala. Moves the puck along the half wall. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. He 
Fiala's tendency is to shoot the puck. This time he overhandles it and loses it. Puts it up front, and that one's broken up. Moves it quickly over to Fiala. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Picked up along the boards by Pattering. And now it's grabbed by Pionk. Puck grabbed by Pionk. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick pass across to Koivu. Winnipeg's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Gets in front of it. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Fialo's got it in the offensive zone. The Jets have it behind the net. Quick feed to Ehlers. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Along the half wall with the puck. And that's blocked. Puck scooped up by Stela. In front, the puck stopper gets on top of it. We'll get a little stoppage in play here, Ray. Yep, goalies are going to jump on it as quick as they can anytime around the front of the net. No, you're not going to get much better scoring chance than that one, but the goaltender makes an excellent stick save. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Bolia. Handles it along the blue line. Knocked away. Hartman swooping in on the attack. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. Hey, here's a power play, and the game is scoreless. What a nice opportunity for them to kick the other team in the shins a little bit, get the lead, and play from in front. 18 seconds. Stalls won the draw here in the offensive zone. And he comes up with it. Doesn't look like much, but the defensemen are helped out by this puck being in the corner. And manages to clear the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Centering pass! Taken by Morrissey. Gets it out of his own end. The Wild have the puck against the boards. He looks deep to Zucker. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Spurgeon. Can't get it to go. Taken along the wall by Zuccarello. Stopped by the goaltender. Sharp reaction save. And manages to clear the zone. Moves across the point. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Special teams coming up huge on that goal. They take advantage of having the extra man by moving the puck quickly. That's a beautiful goal. Effort. He did everything he could to stop that, but he gets beat anyway. Minnesota's on the board. They lead it 1-0. I can't believe this game's going to end 1-0, so that first goal gives you a head start into what I hope is a pretty offensive game. Moves it to Little. Carries it in. Receives the pass with the stop. Jason Zucker, final the goal. Ten minutes, fourteen seconds. Minnesota still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Winnipeg's got the puck along the boards. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes the pass. Minnesota's got control of the puck. Picked up along the wall by Donato. The Jets have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Into the offensive zone. Back to the point it goes. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And now he moves it to Felino. Easily turned away by the glove. Mm -hmm. 
Minnesota's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Quick feed to Foligno. Skates in behind the cage. Winnipeg's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Off to left wing and into center. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. And he's off to the box for two for tripping. Not much of an argument there. A stick between the player's feet. The Jets get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, good news for them as they trail by one, they get a power play. The key here, though, James, is to be confident without pressing. Just get the puck to the net, make the penalty killer stress. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Here they come on the attack. The Jets have it in the offensive end. Big Tuck trying to gain a step. He's in all alone. What a save on the play. Takes that pass back at the point. Quick pass to Suter. And now he angles it across to Perot. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Dumba's lugging the puck. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Puts it in deep. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. Dishes it to Perot. Perot's got the puck. Centered out in front. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Finds some space in the corner. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Moves it over to Pionk. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Minnesota's had outstanding stick positioning. Coaches will love to show this in the video tomorrow. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Gets it out of his own end. Sends a pass over. Littles moving it ahead. Slides it across. Stopped by the blocker. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Winnipeg's got the puck. Their teammate jumps out of the box. We are back to even strength, and the penalty killing unit gets it done with that one goal lead intact. Oh, they're going to rue that one. A chance to even the score here. They didn't get it done. And we go back to even strength. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Ehlers. From in close. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Here in the later stages of this period, We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Beautiful glove stop on that one. Minnesota's got the lead here late in this first period. Setter's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Zucker's got it into offensive territory. Lugs the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Here's an odd man rush. Wrist shot from the slot. Blocked in traffic. Oh, what a save in front. What do you think hurts more? He's got a headache or his jaw sore? That thing was a bullet. Minnesota's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that's blocked away. Quick pass to Greenway. Winnipeg's got control of it now here in the offensive end. That's dumped in and they'll get a fresh group of forwards out there. And he slides it quickly to Greenway. Over the line they come. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. With some momentum driving towards the net. Another stop by the goaltender. Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops. Minnesota's been the better team here in this first period. More shots and more goals. Just a better all-around execution. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Perot 
has got it against the boards. And now he tries to get it across to Lowry. Cops got it deep in the offensive end. And now it's over to Perot. Slides the puck ahead to Parisi. With possession along the wall. And that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with it. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Here in the late goings of the period, 1-0 the score. Littles won it off the faceoff. Moves the puck across to Line A. And the puck's back on his blade here at center. Traps that puck tight to his chest. And we're going to get a whistle here. Minnesota's got the lead here late in this first period. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. The one-time blast denies him with the save. Minnesota's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Felino. Pass across to Line. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. And now he moves it quickly to Morrissey. And he stands tall in goal. Minnesota's been the better team here in this first period. More shots and more goals. Just a better all-around execution. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. What a steal in his own end. There's a time to be risky. That one, there was no play. I think he could have gone deep with the puck. Handles the puck. Nice pass. Denies him in front. He scores! Well, now they can go into this intermission, James. they got to feel great about themselves. They tally so late in this period. It's a good play. It's a goal scorer's play. You shoot the puck and follow your shot. He gets a little lucky that it comes right back to him, but he makes no mistake. One possession. Moves it to Stahl. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. On the attack along the boards. Takes a shot. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And he makes the save. 1-1 is where we sit after the first 20 minutes of play. Hey fans, don't forget to enter tonight for our team signed poster, which will give away before the end of tonight's game. Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. Sucker is going to play it against the half wall. Sends the pass over. Takes it across the blue line. Line A has got it along the wing. Slides the puck to Zuccarello. Looks to pass it to Zucker. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Centering pass. And that's just out of reach. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. On the one-timer, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Up along the wing. Takes the feed. Stones him in front. He scores! Well, they break the tie here, James. This game has been hotly contested since it's been leveled. They now have found a way to 
jump into the lead. Once this puck bounces off the goaltender the first time, the shooter's the next guy in position. The D can't turn quick enough, and he puts it away into the net. The Wild have found a cushion here in the second. They pushed ahead, now have the lead, but they'll want to take more control of this game if they can. Roslovic's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Eric Stahl, assisted by number six. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick feed down low. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Moves right to the middle. Knocked away. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Polia. Parisi's got it in the offensive zone. Carries it across the line. Brodeen's taking it from his own end. Along the half wall with the puck. Right in front! Great save by the goaltender to stay with that tip. And he gains the zone here. Scooped up along the wall by Parisi. Quick feed to Parisi. And now he moves it to Hartman. Rocked on the play. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Denies him! And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Oh, sometimes you think you got lots of room to make a move. Not there. He got closed down and hammered. What a hit. Minnesota's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason of that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. Donato's won the draw. Hammers the shot. Big save by the goaltender. Pass back to the point. Moves the puck. Moves the puck down low. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Here's a chance. Let's it go. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's a chance behind the net. Handles the puck at the point. Comes up with the steal. Moves it around along the half wall. Strong defensive effort. Angles it over to Dahlstrom. Right in the slot. Let's it fly. Oh, he'd like a mulligan on that miss. Yo, oh, you got to get it on net, James. Yeah, the mulligan would be great because you don't even test the goalie here. You never had that happen, right? Many, many times. And makes the save. Huge steal in his own end. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Slides the puck over. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. And that's picked off in front. Erickson X picking up steam. Set it out in front. Can't connect. The Jets have it from their own end. Morrissey's got it across the line. Back at the point, they set it up. Takes the feed. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Referee singling for a delayed penalty. Looks like they caught that slash. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. Dumba's getting called for slashing. Rarely is a slashing penalty considered a good penalty to take. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. There have been times over the last couple of weeks where this power play looks great, other times not so good. But this is a key moment in this game, a chance to tie it up with the man advantage. And manages to clear the zone. Puck set across the blue line. Move to the middle, blocker save. Gets it out of his own end. Bufflin's carrying it ahead. Quick pass to Line A. And that one's broken up. Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. And they get it out of the zone. And where are they headed to, Ray? Uh, time for a change. Everyone needs a little break here. They looked a little tired. They get it out of the zone. And they can get some fresh troops on the ice. And manages to clear the zone. Time winding down here on this power play. They'll get a fresh set of legs here for this one last burst. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. That's not going to fool him.
Minnesota's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Receives the pass. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Gets it out of his own end. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Carries it in. Takes the pass. Shot! Misses high! That feels like a wasted opportunity. You gotta get it on target. Might have skipped up on him right before he let it go. They'll dump it in and peel off for a change. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Minnesota's got possession here in the neutral zone. The Jets fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Well, that's a missed opportunity, isn't it? A chance to tie. They don't cash in, and now we're back to five on five. Hunt's got the puck, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Connors got it in the offensive end. Puck dumped in. Moves it quickly over to Hunt. Great stick work with the steal. Moves the puck to line A. Here's a short pass to Pattern. Zuccarello's got it against the boards. Blast from the point! Makes the save! Minnesota's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Stalls won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Here's a blast, turns it away. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Moves it to Appleton. Deflected away, nice defensive use of the stick there. And now he angles it across to Stahl. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Appleton swooping in on the attack. And he slides it quickly to Kulikov. Slides it back to the blue line. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. And now he tries to get it across to Zuccarello. Minnesota's got possession here in the offensive zone. And now it's over to Brodeen. And that one's broken up. Sends it in on the attack. Minnesota's got it from behind the net. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Fiala. Moves it over to Kopp. He's got a breakaway! Oh! Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. Tripping is the call. Did he sell or is that the right one in your mind? I think it's the right one. He looks like he's picking up speed, and the stick gets into his feet. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. I like what they've done on the power play previously here, and so they really want to duplicate what they've done. They have to be aware the penalty killers will probably change approach. They have to be sharp for that. And manages to clear the zone. Gets it back. Quick feed to Parisi. And a great heads-up defensive play here. There's the physical side. Puck sent over to Fiala. Great poke check on the reach. Jostling for the puck and it's knocked away. Sends a pass over. With possession along the wall. Quick pass to Parisi. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. And now he moves it to Suter. On the attack along the boards. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. Really nice play, but that turnover shouldn't happen. They've got the lead a little safer with the puck. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Handles the puck. Slides it over to Koibu. The Jets will kill off a few extra seconds now. Gets it out of his own end. Time running out on this power play. They've got one last chance here. Handles the puck from the left side. Moves, and that's another power play mark 
third. Oh, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They have done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so. Really paying off tonight. Once he gets in nose to nose with the goaltender, you're always trying to sell the shot. If you're gonna deke it, he goes to the forehand and puts it away. Minnesota's now gone up by a pair in the second. So they've got a two goal lead. Some people say it's the worst lead in hockey. Well, guess what? I'll take the worst lead as opposed to trailing by two. Yeah, you know what's better than down by two? Being up by two, right? Of course Simple. What a steal in his own end. Here they come on the attack. Puts it on net, shuts them down. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. It's been a great night for him. He's got two goals already, but you know he'd love to pull a hat trick out of him, see if he can get a third one. Is the third the easiest or the hardest? Oh, it's the hardest for sure. You, who knows if you're going to get another another chance in the game. Here's a chance right out in front. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Comes up with the stop. Puck picked up by Pattern. Winnipeg's got it now. Slides the puck down low. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Wheeler's got it into offensive territory. Off a stick. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Nice poke check. Takes the feet at the back end. That's three consecutive goals. Yeah, the goalie keeps looking over to the coach saying, why am I still in here? Three straight for them. They tell you it doesn't have to hit the back of the net. It's just got to get over the goal line for it to count. That one does. The goalie had a big chunk of it. Just not enough. Minnesota's offensive performance is still in full effect here, even in the late stages of this period. They haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal yet. They are still pushing for more offense. And now it's grabbed by Hunt. Directs it on over to Donato. Oh, comes up with a stop. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Over the line they come. Back to the blue line. Into the corner of the attacking area. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Lowry. Takes the feed at the point. Denies him with a save! Minnesota's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's a chance, a two-on-one! Denied by the blocker. Puck moved over to Kulikov. Here's a short pass to Connor. Connor's gonna play it against the half wall. And that goes off a player in front. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Nice pass. Koivu's got it along the wing. Moves it to Koivu. Dumpa's able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. Puck grabbed by Connor. Takes it across the blue line. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. And that pass is stolen. Deflection, stopped by the goaltender. Minnesota's relentless physical play has helped them get the lead in this game. Minnesota's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. With the stop.
Minnesota's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively as they lead big here late in the second. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Hammers a shot and a great save. Tries to feed it over to Zuccarello. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Sends the pass over. Right in front. Oh, what a beautiful glove save. He makes the glove stop right from the slot. That's a dangerous chance. Just here in the late stages of this frame, a lot of offense in this one, mostly from one side. We've got 4-1 to score. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Carries it across the line. And he takes a shot. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. And he loses control of the puck. Moves the puck along the half wall. Right on the doorstep. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. And he puts that one aside with ease. And the offense of Onslaught will come to an end as the clock runs out, bringing the period to a close. Fans tonight are will be a flashy dropping $50 gift certificates. Keep your eyes to the sky for tonight's big prize. Big third period still to come. We'll get ready for it. Hope you'll join us. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action. Ready to go. Here we go. Third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Winnipeg's players have to be feeling a little frustrated. They've had much of the time of possession, but they're still chasing the game. And the official signaling for hooking on the play. Got to move your feet here. You're chasing the play. As soon as you stop your feet, you're going to get called. Another scoring opportunity looms here. They've been skunked on the power play so far tonight. So you have a little chat on the bench. Guys, notice some things that the penalty killers do. And you try to adjust one step ahead of them. And manages to clear the zone. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Quick feed to Roslovic. Slides the puck down low. Here's a chance right in the slot. And he's going after him here. Roslovic's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. He's slowly working his way to the bench. Somebody's got to get the door open for him. He's going to need some help. Perot's going to try and shake this off and get back into the game, but he took a heavy hit there. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's a 4-1 game. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Gets it out of his own end. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Slides the puck across to Little. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Puck scooped up by Lane. Hammers the shot, and that's blocked. Tries to get it out of their own end. And they get it down. Uh, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Quick pass to Pionk. Snaps it on net. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. Stalock's athleticism serves him well there. Excellent stop. Nice reflex by the goaltender to get his glove on that one. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Winnipeg's been the better team but not necessarily boasting the better goaltender trailing early in the third. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Taken by Roslovic. Stops him cold. Moves it quickly over to Roslovic. Tries to clear the puck. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. 
floats the saucer pass. Ahead of steam now towards the front. The Jets have it in the offensive end. That goes off a twig. Quick snap, scores! They deliver big time with the main advantage. Yeah, they use that extra man to their advantage. Move the puck very quick, but it's a nice goal. Maybe they get nervous. Here's a short pass to Morrissey. Takes the feed. Chris one in close. Where'd that go? It's over there. Now he's got to go chase it. Wow. Puck picked up by Stahl. Moves it to Dumba. And now it's grabbed by Dumba. And now he angles it across to Zucker. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Stopped by the blocker. Wheeler's got it across the line. Roslovic's got it in the corner. Moves the puck. Quick feed to Zucker. Zucker's got it in the offensive zone. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Tosses it on to Pionk. The Wild have possession now. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Slides it diagonally to Line. Look out, a two-on-one. And that's picked off in front. Grips it and rips it. Oh, just wide. Right in his wheelhouse, he powders it, but just misses. Knocked away. Puck grabbed by Line. Quick pass to Pionk. And a beautiful stop by the glove. Ooh, you don't want to be on the receiving end of that. That is a freight train that went right over top of them. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. It's a two-goal lead here tonight. 4-2 is where we're sitting. Drives it to the front of the net. Stopped by the goaltender. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Slides the puck over. Along the half wall with the puck. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. You call that a hatchet job with that slash? I call that chopping broccoli right there, James. <laughs> Very good reference. Power play unit going back to work. If your power play is successful, you can really take the wind out of the other guys. You've been successful all right with the man advantage. See if you can get another one. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. Takes the feed. Takes the shot. Denied by the goaltender. The Jets have had more chances offensively, but they have not been able to convert trailing here in this third. Donato's won a big draw on their own end. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Winnipeg's got the puck behind the net. Gets it over to Perot. Slides the puck across to Roslovic. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a rip. Can't get it to go. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a chance to move the puck outside the zone. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Perot. Receives the pass. Here's a blast. Big time stop there. Whistle blown as that's redirected into the crowd. Winnipeg's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight trailing in this third period. 
play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And now it's over to Koibu. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And he moves it up to Wheeler. Hangs onto the puck. Minnesota's got possession while undermanned and manages to clear the zone. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Line A's carrying it ahead. Puck scooped up by Suter. Gets it out of his own end. Winnipeg's got the puck along the boards. Across the point. Sends it across. Now a quick pass to Little. Blocker save. A strong penalty killing performance on that one as both teams are now back to even strength. Well, they're not going to do a much better job than that last penalty kill all night. They've been really efficient killing penalties. The Jets have been the busier team in the offensive zone, but they still trail in the third. Appleton's won the draw here in the offensive zone. From the blue line, and he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Pattern. Takes the pass. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Parisi. And it's a quick pass to Fiala. Shot, and there's the save. Like that save as he was able to deflect it to the corner. They fight for it along the boards. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Denied by the goaltender. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides the pass over to Kulikov. Into the corner. We got a stoppage here in play as the net gets knocked off. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. 4-2 is the score. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Right to the middle. Here's a short pass to Perot. Here's a shot and makes the save. And he slides it quickly to Polia. Moves it to Pionk. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Carries it in. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Pionk's got the puck. Great chance in front. Gives them nothing in front. Smothered that in close chance. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Here in the back half of this period, lots of offense here tonight. 4-2 is where we're sitting. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. From off the wall and onto a stick. Sends a pass over. Great save by the goaltender on that one. The Jets still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Hartman's got it on the offensive end. Rocks him. Quick feed to Line A. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Line A's got it against the boards. Battle along the boards. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Feeds the puck across to Spurgeon. Pushes it across to Hartman. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Oh, what a stop. Minnesota's got the puck. And now he moves it to Donato. They've got the defense outnumbered. Snaps it on net. Big save. But he came out and challenged a good save. And now he angles it across to Line A. And now he tries to get it across to Little. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And that one's turned away. 
He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Minnesota's got the puck now. Picked up along the boards by Spurgeon. Quick pass to Suter. Looks to set up at the point now. Makes the save. Moves it quickly over to Line. A. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. With possession along the wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Here's a short pass to Appleton. Handles the puck. Minnesota's regained possession of the puck. Now he takes it over the line. Nice pass. They've got numbers. On the attack along the boards. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. There's a time to be risky. That one, there was no play. I think he could have gone deep with the puck. Long lead pass into the open ice. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Well, the endless slew of penalties that have been handed out continues here as yet another one is being dished out. Hookings the call. This is what yeah. they kind of call the lazy penalty these days, yeah, right? Yeah, it is, but, it, but really the problem is your beat and you panic and you're trying to help and the more you help the worse it gets go sit down and he certainly dug himself a hole there another sense of urgency for this man advantage unit as they go back to work denies him on the play well i would say the power play has been nothing to write home about tonight james but now they've got a chance to score here on the power play turn around what's been a real rough stretch for them and manages to clear the zone winnipeg's got it behind the net through center along the wing. Perot's gonna play it against the half wall. Point shot, blocked in traffic. On their heels, trying to clear. And that's a big clear at this stage of the game. Yeah, they're all big now. You, that puck's near the blue line, it's gotta get out. Passes it over to Little. Handles it along the blue line. Taken by Spurgeon. Gets it out of his own end from their own end as they get a fresh set of legs here for this man advantage. And now it's over to Little. Puts it on net, and that one's stopped. The Jets need to find a way to convert one here late as they trail in the third. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Gets in front of it, and now he moves it quickly to Perot and manages to clear the zone. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards, and he sends it across to Perot. Perot's got it along the wing. A chance in front, and that one's broken up. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Gets it out of his own end. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Moves it to Ehlers, and he comes up with it. Winnipeg's offensive struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent and manages to clear the zone. Time runs out on the power play, and you do have to wonder if that might come back to haunt them as both teams are now back at even strength. Wow, that seems like a big miss, James. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. And a penalty is coming up as the play is whistled dead here. Little's getting two for hooking. As soon as he stops skating, he has to reach out with his stick parallel to the ice. It's going to get called most every time. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. Well, you can tell these guys must be bubbling with confidence here, James, because they've already scored on the power play tonight. And so they get another chance. They must feel good they have the formula tonight. Moves the puck along the half wall. And a smart heads-up read to come up with the puck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Bullia. Clay whistled dead because of an offside. The Jets have had more scoring chances, and yet they trail late in this third period. Stalls won it. 
Quick feed to Zuccarello. Sends the pass over. And that one's broken up. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Shot with the stop. Here in the later stages of this period, it's 4-2. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Back to the point it goes. Quick pass to Lowry. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Winnipeg's ready to go on the attack. Cops got it behind the net. Puck picked up by Lowry. Zucker's got the puck along the wing. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the official's call. Bufflin's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. Trying to get into position to get to the puck. He takes out the player's feet, and off to the box he'll go. A huge power play opportunity here for the man advantage unit, a five on three. There's really more strategy to a five on three than a five on four. Too many times the five on three guys just stand around and pass the puck around the outside. And now it's grabbed by Dolstrom. Knocked away. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Shuts him down. And now he moves it to Dumba. Picked off. That's a solid check on the play. Morrissey's got it along the boards. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. In need of a goal, the extra attacker's out on the ice. Can't get a hold of that pass. Big time defensive play. He turns up, fires to the empty net, and there's the insurance marker much needed for them on this night. It's amazing how many times a guy misses an empty net, but this one he puts between the pipes. Oh, now you got a couple of gold lead here with the empty netter. That should be enough to put this away. The Jets are running out of time as they trail late in this third period. Off the try, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Minnesota's got it in the neutral zone. Winnipeg's got possession while undermanned. Tries to get it to Roslovic. It's a two-on-one. Into the corner now. Moves it quickly over to Suter. Suter swooping in on the attack. Passes right to the front, and that's broken up with a stick in front into the offensive zone. Blistering shot, and he comes up with the save! Suter's got it in the defensive end. Takes the feed. Shot denied by the blocker. He scores! What a goal! Hard to get him up quicker than that. A pair of goals in 40 seconds. This is where you want run time here in hockey, right? This game can't end quick enough. They're getting pounded. He's in the bumper position in the middle of the slot. They move the puck around and find him in the middle, and he makes no mistake. The Jets need to find a way to convert one here late as they trail in the third. And there's the final horn, bringing this one officially to an end. That's a tough loss for them, James. I mean, they did a lot of things right. The face-offs were good, a lot of details good. They just didn't get enough done to win. Can you see those positives after a game like this, though? Not right now. Maybe tomorrow. And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us.